wherever I've been, I, I think I've been successful. There, there, you bring your own gifts and your own talents. I try not to be judgmental. I, I try to accept people where they're at. And where they're at, then I try to, to bring them into a, a greater awareness of, of who they are and where, what they are called to be. And that's true of my own life as well. The thing that originally attracted me to the Paulists, they were very involved with the culture as it was. Missionary to Main Street was the, um, the main vocation aspect. They were involved in many, many different aspects of ministry. There was parishes, the press, the multimedia, universities, there were information centers. I think it was a combination of all that that uh, says, I would like to give them a try. Well, of course, you can't be a Paulist without liking St. Paul, right? St. Paul was a missionary and went out and went into different areas and met different people. And he had a uh, persona that was outgoing. He wasn't seemed to be afraid of anything. And uh, that appealed to me because I'm not outgoing. And uh, a lot of things I'm afraid of. And I thought, well, gee, maybe if I could have this guy on my side, then maybe I'd be able to preach and, and to be a, uh, a good witness to the presence of Jesus. The older I get, the more that I see the, the presence of God in my life, that somehow I feel that there's a reason for all that has happened. And there's a force that's with me, you can call it the spirit, if you will, that's guiding me. You know, I mean, how can a shy young man from northern Nova Scotia ever end up the way I've ended up and been where I've been and experienced what I've experienced and met the people that I've met and lived in areas of the countries that I would never have experienced if not for being a Paulist and a priest. Celebrating moments with people and times with people. As a priest, you become part of people's lives. It doesn't always mean a happiness, because I think when you, when you celebrate, let's say, a death, or celebrate a funeral, or a dying, or a sickness, you're, you're with the people, and uh, you, you celebrate in, in a sense that you're with them and hopefully you're bringing some sort of comfort or some sort of solace or some aspect of the gospel to them. I think my favorite image of God is as a companion, as, as someone who is with me, that walks with me, who's always at my side. I don't always recognize it. I um, am not always attuned to it. But I, I think that God is my constant companion. And I see that in different ways. Sometimes it's Jesus, you know. Uh, very often it's the Spirit. And as a Paulist, I think we have a, an affinity to the presence of God's Spirit in our life. So sometimes I see it as God's Spirit working in my life and being there. And uh, where he'll, he'll congratulate me when I'm doing well. He'll support me when I'm not. And at times he's probably disappointed in me but never condemns me. He's always with me.